alpha. All right, welcome back again. Uh, this is Han. So I'm going to share you some photo, some of the photos that I took uh, with this brand new 20 ml f one point G uh, Sony lens. So uh, I didn't do did any of the behind the scene video recording. So unfortunately, you can't really see how I did it. But anyway, I'm just going to run some photo photo. So wait for the very first one here. Uh, one more thing is that right, currently I'm using Imaging Edge. Uh, it's a viewer part of it, part of the program that you can actually download online from Sony website. So this is a free software that for all the Sony users to use. So it has a uh, editing part, viewing part, and also the tethering part. But right now I'm using the viewing part. Okay, for the very first photo, actually I put this, uh, put put the camera on a tripod so to make sure that everyone, every shot I get is about similar for this four, first four photo. And then I'm, again, I'm using a 20 mm f f1.8G. The very first thing comes to mind, sharpness at wide open f1.8. So this is the thing that's very crucial for photographer. So as soon as it just blows up, you can see the details. It's super amazing. You can see all the details in right here. And then you can go all the way to the corner to the side. You still get a lot of detail on the side. Again, you can see right there. It's all in the good sharpness. You can see the details. So when people say f1.8 wide open, from corner to corner sharpness, this one means that anyway from the center point of view, all the way to the corner. So you can, this lens is actually a very good performer. I wouldn't say it's like the best, but it's actually very, very up there. Very good for the uh, for the price point you're paying and also for the performance you're getting is super good. Okay, and then uh, you can see a lot of details. So uh, when I took this photo, it was about afternoon timing. So it has a bit of play with the contrast because of the sun, the direction of the sun, how it's uh, light on the, eye, on the subject. Very good. So uh, another thing I would really want to test out is that what we call uh, distortion. What it means that uh, when you look at a photo, especially you're doing wide angle lens, uh, wide angle uh, shots, uh, make sure you find something that is horizontal, parallel to horizontal. Means like a left to right side, it has a very good straight line. So uh, if it's the lens has a has a distortion, it can be like a protrude and also can be like go in. Means like a, we call it as a barrel distortion or pin cushion. What it means that if I bring up this chart right here. You can see there's a barrel distortion and a pin cushion. This is a very common, well known in all the wide angle lenses. You might see these two issues. Uh, again, this lens is doing very, very well. It controls very, very well. The barrel, barrel distortion is, is pretty much like not there. You don't even see any distortion at all. Well done for the Sony engineering. So I'm just going to run through some of the photo and <laughs> because I took a, a fair amount, but I don't want to go through everything. So yeah, you can see this monkey here, very nice. And 1.8, tech shop. The detail is very good, very good. I'm very amazed with this picture quality. So I can even see the hair. Next to it, again, I want to find, uh, I wanted to uh, like test out if there's any chromatic aberration. What it means is that sometimes when you shoot anything with high contrast in black to like a high contrasting, you'll find a purple color around the edges. You don't even see anything here. This lens is a very good control in terms of chromatic aberration or CA issues. Everything is very faithfully produced as no CA. And all you see here is straight from camera without any much of the editing at all. I just took out from the camera. Next to it, same thing. Uh, everything is very faithfully produced, the color and uh, then the details and it blows up in 100%. Oops, sorry, and then 100%, you can see the details. Again, I'm using A7R Mark IV. This is a 61 megapixel, megapixel full frame sensor. So you get a lot of details out of this sensor and also out of this brand new 20mm F1.8G. It's very good. Let me just pose, uh, put it back up. This is a full size. Uh, yeah, I'm just going along. Again, same thing. The barrel distortion control is super well. You can see it's a straight line. It's a straight line. It's not an issue. So uh, let me just go to uh, next shot here. Same thing, everything is well controlled. So you can see right here, this is the F1.8. Again, a lot of shots that I shot F1.8 just to show you the details and to show you the sharpness. So just go again, close up. Again, this is the F1.8, 1.8. And then if I go up to the top there, you can see the monk, uh, no, sorry, the statue. And you can see the F1.8. Again, this is a super high contrast, high resolution, uh, high resolution lens, and also resolving very well with the 61 megapixel full frame sensor. Uh, next, we have the beautiful model, <laughs> actually, actually a bit handsome here. One, 
uh, it's actually this monkey. Again, uh, I was uh, using the real-time tracking. I put that focusing on, on uh, the face, blows up 100%. Again, this line is very good. It performed very well and you can see how much detail. You can even see very clear the eyeball, the, the, the hair and everything. Is everything in fine detail and this is a 1.8 wide open as you can see right there f1.8 wide open it's very sharp tech sharp so this is a very good performing lens and next yeah you get some bokeh you can see this a bokeh so the, that's the background separation and this is sharpness point so again when I go with a full size uh, well, what I want to test is also if I shoot against the sun what will happen I want to try if there's a lot of lens flare again this is a lens flare uh, a bit here, a bit here, but this lens is controlling very well because so this one has a very good Sony coating inside the nano AR coating. So again, I bring up a video here. So I really want to test out how bad it is if I shoot against the sun, how much lens flare you can get. You can see this path here. This is the lens flare. So uh, again, this is a very, very well controlled and very good high performance, high contrast uh, without much of the lens flare. Well done, well done. Very good, very good. So next to it is actually, I want to see is the, again, the barrel distortion is right here. There's no distortion. Everything is very faithfully produced. So again, for landscape photographer, they will love it because it's so nice and everything is faithfully reproduced. Again, with the sharpness at 1.8, tech sharp. And pair up with the 61 megapixel Acer R Mark IV. You have a lot of data, a lot of information if out of each pixel. It get lots of details. As this is at the corner, you can see this at the corner. Very, very good. So I just gotta go back up smaller. And again, everything, the details and very good. Okay, it just goes up. And this is at, wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm just amazed, <laughs> amazed. Oops, I think this one short as F4. Yeah, just to test out, but this F4. Again, if it is top down to F4, this is the detail that you can get. It can get very good sharpness across the range. So yeah, this is a very powerful, great landscape lenses. Okay, last but not least, what I want to do is that uh, I want to do this one. So this is just to show you about the bokeh because I was focusing to the branch right here. This branch right here, so let's go up to full size. So I'm focusing on the branch right here. Just want to show you how much bokeh can get. Again, this is 61 megapixel. So you can easily crop out this frame here. I can still get a very nice bokeh. If I just go out, zoom out, just want to show you at 19 cm minimum distance focusing how much it can blur out. This is how much bokeh you can get. And this is a statue right there and the staircase right here at Batu Cave. So again, this is a very good performance, high resolution lenses. So uh, yeah, that's for my photo sharing part. Thanks for listening. <laughs> so next I'll be doing some vlog session and also with the gimbal. So stay tuned. Thank you very much.